and welcome back to my channel oh my god that was kind of cringy hello everyone and welcome back to my channel it's your girl amari and um this was very a uh, last minute very unplanned very awkward video but i kind of been postponing this for the longest i'm gonna let the cat out the bag is that what people say the cat out the bag so basically basically um i'm not going back to howard yeah so this has been in the works for a very 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 long time um you know things happen people grow people change and howard is an amazing school don't get me wrong um there's so many benefits from going there and be surrounded by the, the, um, the type of people that I was always surrounded by. It was just a lot of benefits. Howard was a good school. I just feel like it just personally was not for me. Um, there was a lot of things that kind of turned me off, I'd say, about... Um, you'd think me being a black girl coming from a pretty... I would say it's a mixed area. It's not predominantly white, it's not predominantly black, but it's just a good mix coming from there. And then going to an HBCU, um, you think I'd be comfortable, but honey, I couldn't have been more uncomfortable. Like, I don't know, it's just, it just wasn't for me. The pe Some of the people there were just very, oh my god, there's a cat! Oh, it's a cat! Oh, it's a cat, ooh. Don't even get me started with the administration. Don't even get me started with the administration. So, just a quick story. My first semester at Howard, there was a class I took, <clears throat> chemistry, and I failed it. And I was so set that I wanted to be in medical school and I wanted to be a doctor. But newsflash, failing that class really made me realize what I wanted to do and it was not that, okay? So, I wanted to change my major to nursing. Um, yeah so nursing was what i wanted to do it kind of was what i wanted to do from the beginning but i had so much other stuff going on in my head about oh just be a doctor make that coin yes but no so i decided i want to be a nurse so my second semester going into howard that was my plan okay and keep in mind my um my gp okay so since i had filled that class my gpa was too low to switch my major to nursing because obviously it's a, it's a competitive path and you have to have the gpa to even be able to transfer which i understood okay there was no issue i already, I already knew my situation and as you know most uh schools most college most colleges and universities do grade forgiveness which is what i did so i retook the class chemistry with a new professor new and improved grade a professor and so I was taking that class all semester. I knew my GPA was not where it needed, needed to be, and I knew I was gonna get it to where it needed to be because I was gonna change my major regardless, okay? Manifestation, I was gonna get into the program I wanted to be in, and that was that on that. So at class four to the end of spring semester, I'm almost done with my, my classes. My grades are looking so much better from first semester, you know, it just, so much better so much better like 90,000 times better from first semester and I just knew like this chem class I was gonna at least get a B like if not an A I was gonna get a B like no questions around it no no in and, and ifs or buts about it I was going to get at least a B so I'm reaching out to the advisor of the nursing department I'm texting I'm emailing I'm calling I'm doing everything I need to do just let her know like hey I'm so interested I still want to switch my major at the end of this semester like you know like trying to like and I already knew people were busy because it was the end of the semester but like I just wanted her to remember my name like no like I'm coming for you so like yeah so I'm emailing slow responses or no responses but um yeah so I this semester ends my GPA is now high enough to transfer um it, it's actually three points above what needs to be the transfer so i was just like okay like there's no re like you cannot tell somebody no like in my opinion you can't tell me no i can't do something because that's what i want to do like how are you gonna tell me i can't be this major when that's the major i want to be honey i'm not even trying to get into your programming i'm just trying to change my major so for you to tell me no that's just not gonna happen so 
summer comes i'm back home right okay i'm back home you know i got my whole roommate situation figured out for next year but me and my roomie from last, my freshman year we're gonna room together again my sophomore year we had it all planned out we were so excited i have my group of friends we're so excited we're just gonna get go back to school we're gonna be happy my major's gonna be changed i'm gonna be living life just so much better right no so i'm emailing the advisor and she's like not responding to me so i'm getting frustrated because i'm like i don't want to be in a situation where i start next semester and i don't have the right classes and i'm struggling and i'm behind because you guys don't want to put me in my major like i just need to pick up my class i can't even do that because you want to change my major so basically one thing led to another and this lady started to get hostile with me over emails so i was getting hostile back and so we just you know i was like you know i really don't need it it should not be this hard and it's not even the point of like me try like, i wasn't even trying to get into like the upper level program i was simply just trying to change my major and it should never be that hard so i really wanted to go to a program that would like that was more inclusive that cared that was more nice that wanted me there than to try to force my way into a school that didn't want me so one thing led to another and i just leaped out and i applied to three schools that are in my state like um and i got into all three and so i just feel like that goes to show that one thing one door closes another door opens like if it was not meant to be i would not be going to where i'm going now and now i am and my major is pre-nursing and i'm doing my prereqs this coming up semester i'm taking my t's this coming up semester i have my right classes I'm staying closer to home. I have my own apartment, apartment hall coming soon, apartment move in coming soon, two work coming soon. All that's coming soon, okay? So yeah, um Yeah, so I just going to show everything happens for a reason, literally for a reason. Like I'm going to miss my friends. I'm going to miss the HBCU experience. I'm going to miss a lot of things at Howard and sometimes I'm wondering if I made the right decision, but I feel like I really did because nothing like i feel like it's just all falling into place They're set all i need to do now is work for it i need to work for it and it will happen and i strongly believe that um so yeah if you guys want to continue watching me come along with me on this journey this nursing journey that is going to be a ride a roller coaster a leap a jump a hop a skip um a labyrinth it's going to be all of that but I'm gonna make it to the end just you know and I'm gonna use this as my platform to document my journey to it okay I don't know why I always come on here looking rough I swear I'm not ugly <laughs> I come on my YouTube channel looking disgusting like okay I work eight hours every day I come home I do I'm post like I don't know I like I said I just had to come out and do this on a whim because I would have never recorded or posted this if I didn't just do it and I had the time I'm in the car I was driving I felt like talking instead of listening to the radio because I'm tired of it so I really just felt like I needed to post this before I made any more college or like things about my life because I I feel like most of my subscribers come came from my Howard videos because that's what I post on my channel and I'm not going to Howard anymore but I'm still am there for advice and I still know a lot of things about the school if anyone ever has questions but now you can follow me on my new journey I will be attending University of Central Florida in Orlando for these next years of my educate of my undergrad and I'm very excited about it and it's gonna be an amazing ride um so if you are still interested stay tuned i'm gonna be coming out with apartment hall back to school dress hall um um, 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 um oh i'm gonna do an apartment tour when i have it all decorated probably a move-in vlog just a bunch of things are coming i'm very very excited if there's any other videos that you guys would like to see please 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 leave them down below I really like I mostly don't record because I don't know what to record so if I know what you want to see I will record it okay but yeah please like continue to show love thumbs it up subscribe it really 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 will help me a lot and keep being lovely <laughs> next time see y'all next time bye